Hello guys, me Carlos Hantles, aka Happy Carlos 987, and welcome to another edition of NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. So, it's been a week since I've uploaded a NASCAR Heat video, so I got all my schoolwork out of the way for both accounting and economics. So, if you want to be a NASCAR, you have to know a lot about the economic world, so that's all I'm going to say. So. I don't want to give the title of this video away, but you'll see it in the end of the Homestead Miami video for Xfinity series. So, so here it is. Lap 1 of qualifying at Homestead Miami Speedway for the Xfinity series. So, so as recommended, run the high lane and then get that big run and as far as trying to get that Fast lap, I'm telling you. And dig down low, run the high lane. Let's see what my lap time will be. So let me look at 32.904 or 934. 23rd, not. Yeah, terrible. So who's on the pole? Harrison Burton, yep, in that 20 Dex Imaging Toyota. So, Harrison Burton and Michael Annan on the front row. Vinny M Miller loves me, and he'll draft with me whenever possible. Never mind. He ain't gonna help me, because I'm gonna just fly away from him. And he'll be in the back of the pack. A lot longer than me, so. <laughs> so let's see. I gained one spot up to 20 seconds, so. And the green flag is out, and Homestead Miami, and we're underway, so. Okay. Which lane am I gonna choose? I could choose any lane because my car is a lot faster than everybody else's, so. I wonder why I don't qualify up front, you know? I'm a cheap, I'm like a playoff contender and I shouldn't be back here, you know? Yeah, and that's me coming from 22nd to 20th, so that's kind of disappointing, so... As uneventful as it is at most one and a half mile racetracks, I'll just move on to the end of the race and see what you guys think of the race so far as you go through this commentator free uh, race. So go ahead and watch the rest of it.
So, we're at the final few laps of Homestead Miami Speedway. Pretty expensive new series. So, this is nighttime. Yeah, we're down in 12th place. Passing Michael and Ned for position. Our lineup. Let's see who it is. Jeremy Clements. I remember this Jeremy Clements guy. And you know, yesterday, or. It may not be yesterday because of me uploading it very late, but. So on Thursday, September 24th, he lost his sponsor, repairablevehicles.com, so. He may be one of those teams where he has to shut down and drive for somebody else, or otherwise find another job other than being a race car driver, so yeah, tough break for him. So look, so as you can see, when the playoffs are uh, arriving, Austin Sanders gonna be my point points rival, so yeah. I don't want to reveal who the final four drivers were since I'm already pre-recording the ones from August, from early August, you know. And I want to upload as many of these as possible, so you guys don't don't get bored at at all. So. Oh, caution came out. <laughs> I don't know what it was for, but yep, restarting six. Yep, right behind Justin Allgaier and Harrison Burton. We're gonna find out whether or not we'll get the Harrison Burton's bumper and race him for lead. There's a uh, Riley Herbs and Noah Gregson. <laughs> Man, running the middle lane is gonna be so much fun in Jose Miami. And really, it's one of my favorite race tracks, you know, because you can come from the back of the pack and not have any issues getting to the front, like 15 to 20 laps into a run. And basically, that's what it takes to win. You have to. Tell your race team, hey, I got this. I can get myself to the front. So, <sighs> let's see how many laps to go. So we're here in the final lap of the race. Me and Harrison Burton fighting for lead. And yep, I'm just uh, getting a slipstream from him, and I run the highway. Oh, he bumps me in the left side of my door. And let's see, does Harrison Burton lose momentum in the long lane? Yep, he does. I got the high lane intact. Let's see, we'll get to the checkered flag first. And Alan Santos will win the, hmm, the 300 mile at Homestead Miami Speedway. So here's me doing some burnouts for the fans. So. As you can see in the highlights, there are plenty full uh, battles out there, and I'm telling you, <laughs> yep, that's that was me uh, losing a lot of spots on pit road and having to battle for the back of the pack. There I am, just trying to. Get the Harrison Burton's bumper. Well, I. Yeah. That's why I can run the high lane. Especially on worn racetracks. I mean, that's what it'll take to get there. And yep, that's the speed mm. rating of 96. Terrible, but not extraordinary. I mean, terrible. <laughs> I mean, mm. 
So the point standings, I'm, to tell you, I have a big points lead, I'm telling you. I'm trying to see how much I have. About 40 points above Justin Allegire. And to tell you the truth, nothing gets hurt. Mm. Yep. And you can tell Harrisburg got the fastest lap. He led the most laps. And let's see who gained the most spots. Justin Allegaier. And the tough regular race will go to Ray Black Jr. Which I don't think is racing anymore, but he does it. He's like a full time scuba diver instructor, so. Yeah, he's not much into racing anymore. Since he has the funding to be scuba diver instructor and tell people in Florida his hobbies and swimming underwater so that's cool about the sport you never know what kind of personalities you have so for that for the time being let's move on to the cup race So here in my number four mobile one Ford at Homestead, Miami for the Dixie uh, Vodka 400, I believe. So let's see how my hot lap will be. So here's my out lap. Trying to make sure I won the tires and see whether or not I'll be up front at the start of the race. What's it going to take for me to do well here? I mean, to be honest, I really want to do well. So here I am in turn two, trying to make sure I don't have any issues, trying to get my car loose so that way I don't have to start from the back. So low lane here in turn three and four. I drift up the track a little bit. Let's see what my lap time will be. 32.349. Tenth place. Woo. Top ten in qualifying. So. so. There you have it. Tenth place. I'm Blaney and Chase Elliott in the front row. Let's read through these stories of the race. And let's yeah, wait for it. Wait for it. Tyler Reddick hates me because of my more recent races with him. Brad Keselowski blew an engine qualifying. And Ryan Blaney's on the pole. So. I guess I'm in ninth at the start of the race because Keselowski like, was supposed to start up in the top five, but yeah, he just blew up. How can you, like, literally, in. How I come in lap one, you blow a motor, and then all of a sudden you blow up, and you have to go to the back. Was that post qualifying inspection? I guess that is. Maybe you change a rear gear, but I guess that's one of the reason, more realistic reasons of why you have to start in the back. 
Maybe it's what they didn't even uh, practice to qualifying. That's all I have to say. So we're in lap 2 of 67 right now and Look at him and go for the middle. And Chase Zoe is struggling. Yeah. During my time doing NASCAR Heat 5 career mode, Chase Zoe was struggling so bad. I don't know what happened. But he shouldn't be back here. So, as always, the, the beginning and the middle of the race will be a little bit boring, but. With this commentating free race, like I mean, you don't have to hear me holler and yelling and saying, "Oh, I'm gonna rage about somebody trying to loosen me up and all that." For example, so so there you have it. I'll go to the end of the race, and if you want to go to the end of the race, so click or timestamp at around thirty minutes so
So here we go. Let's finally restart the race and let's just do it. This. Let's just do this. <laughs> okay. I'm in the lead right now. And as you see from the, the race so far, and I just kept the lead ever since, you know? Like, I don't know what lap I got into the lead, but yeah, you, know, you just have to go for the middle of the race, you know? Or somewhere in my video, actually getting the lead, because I don't want to be saying lazy to look at the first or the Perhaps like, you know, <laughs> got me to this point, but yeah, my uh, iPhone memory thingy, you know, like if you post something from 20 to 30 minutes long, then it means that you used up your, uh, your megabytes or gigabytes of file, like video files, for example, so just want to be as efficient as possible to my race fans and you know I'm ready to inform me that hey I'm just gonna be here to dominate you know and so ooh. I don't know what happened here but as a, as a quick word, spoiler alert, I got my third straight weekend sweep already. My first one came at Phoenix, then at Atlanta. I'm trying to figure out the, the sequence of the rest of the races. So the can't remember. The fourth race of this or the I can't remember. Don't think too hard. So the fourth race of the season was Phoenix. Then the fifth was Atlanta. Then the sixth is Homestead Miami, so to tell you the truth, I swept Homestead Miami, so dirt straight race weekend sweeps so. There you have it, so I'm AK Happy Colonel 957. Sorry about the you know video corruption of my uh, iMovie because as of right now I'm looking at a blank screen that now, like a blue screen of death and I think some of the timing kinda went off, so sorry for my apologies, so so y'all have a great day and pizza.
So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so click on that thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you have any thoughts or feelings about the most recent YouTube video you just saw, share a comment right below the description so I can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome. So I'm AKA Happy Carnot 957. Y'all have a great day and peace. Out.